Aircraft have been a part of the fabric of American history for over 100 years, but there's another mode of transportation that has been around even longer, and most of us probably take it for granted, the automobile. Neglect, rust, and time has taken its toll on many of yesterday's planes and cars, but in Auburndale, Florida, there is a place that hosts an event where these aeronautic and automotive survivors are celebrated. We're at Fantasy of Flight's Roar and Soar, where you can find the best of the wind and of the road. Fantasy of Flight is a one-of-a-kind aircraft theme park and restoration shop, where vintage flying machines aren't just preserved for static displays, they are renovated and made airworthy again. You know, they're almost as cool to watch as they are to fly. I love watching them fly as much as I get to fly mine. I'm flying two today, I got my P-51D, and then to close out the show, I'm gonna fly the P-51C, which is a really rare early version uh, done up in the Tuskegee colors, which are the black fighter pilots that flew for us in World War II. The crowd just loves watching these rare birds in action, and auto show participants are also encouraged to dogfight their classic cars at the event's on-site race course. And just because some of these cars are old, don't think for a moment drivers are taking it easy around the track. Johanna Rosser is a pilot instructor as well as a talented driver behind the wheel of this classic Jaguar XK120. This car was built in 1952, and not only is it very beautiful, but it's very usable. The way it drives is just unbelievable. So you have to have a lot of respect for the engineering that many years ago. Richard Mori holds the record for this course in his modified 71 Jaguar XKE. Compare maybe taking a passenger plane and making it into a fighter jet. You strip off all the seats and all the air conditioning and radios and anything that would possibly slow it down from going fast and handling. There's no roll-up windows, no heater, no air conditioning, nothing. And it really does, it flies pretty good. British cars and planes are well represented here, but good old American power is also on display. From this World War II B-25 bomber to Bill and Sharon Davis's 1933 Ford Roadster. It's built to appear as a period correct race car, but with modern touches like disc brakes. Henry Ford's influences are well renowned in the automotive world, but Ford Motor Company actually built aircraft. This is the Ford Trimotor. Henry Ford was a transportation visionary, as was Herbert Troutman. His flying car could have revolutionized travel in 1959, part car and part plane. Unfortunately for Mr. Troutman, it wasn't very good at being either one. On its maiden flight, it only climbed to three feet in altitude. Prototype vehicles allow engineers to put their ideas into practice, for better or for worse. How about this? Maybe the jet turbine powered three-wheeler is just the thing to shorten that morning commute. Sometimes less is more, like Kevin Jardine's 74 bug-eyed MG midget sports car. Well, what motivates it? What's under the bonnet, as the British would have said? It's a, a 75 engine, about 65 horse. So there are motorcycles with bigger motors than this car That's has, right, that's right, right yeah. <laughs> From small cars to small planes, personally, I love it all but I just had to pick my favorite. Oh, I'm in love with your car. This 1967 Triumph TR4A is a stunning beauty, praised upon its introduction and still coveted to this day. To know that when you put something back into this kind of shape, yeah. that it's going to last for a long time. And whoever has them, they're really, they're just caregivers. Mm -hmm. And then someone else gets them again. Yep. When new, this car sold for $2,500. Today, it could fetch $25,000 or more. If you do decide not to keep it, I'll give you my card. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> who am I kidding? I know I can't afford it, but who knows? Maybe one day, I will. Thanks to the efforts of countless enthusiasts, majestic machines like these will continue to roar down our roads and soar through our skies giving us a look at the way we were and inspiring us to keep reaching for the sky. Fast cars, cool planes, what more could a gearhead like me want? And it's all right here at Fantasy of Flight in Auburndale, Florida. With Autofocus, I'm Ben Italis.